A chilling call from a teenager held captive by her parents. For the first time tonight, we're hearing the 911 call that exposed the Turpin's House of Horrors in the city of Paris. Now, this coming as the parents get ready for sentencing. Tonight, KCAL 9 Inland Empire reporter Tina Patel with that story. We don't know if any of the Turpin children will speak during the sentencing, but we are now hearing from one of the girls as she describes the condition she was kept in in that 911 call that she made after escaping the home two years ago. No one knew what was happening inside this Paris home until a 17 year old girl escaped through a window in January 2017 and called 911. In that call obtained by ABC News, the teenager tells a dispatcher that David and Louise Turpin abused her and her 12 siblings, rarely letting them outside, feeding them very little, and chaining them to furniture as punishment. She describes the house as filthy, saying sometimes it would be hard for her to breathe. And when asked about their education, our mother tells people what private school. And she has a fake private school set up, but we don't really do school. I had to finish first grade, and I said a team. How do you plead to that charge, sir? In February, David and Louise Turpin pleaded guilty to 14 felony counts, including torture, child abuse, and false imprisonment. They will each be given a sentence of 25 years to life in prison. Riverside County District Attorney Mike Hestron says part of the reason he made the plea deal was so the children, now ages 3 through 30, would not have to testify. But he says he met with each of them earlier this year, and they are recovering. I was very taken by them, by their optimism, by their hope. Again, all the children have the chance to speak at the sentencing. They could also provide a written statement to be read to the court, but we don't know if any of them will take the opportunity to address their parents. In Riverside, Tina Patel, KCAL 9 News.